Hi, America Mills. Welcome to Tune Up Tuesday. Today, I want to talk about a problem that I've been seeing pervasive um, in the nonprofit sector, and it is this. We have convinced ourselves in the sector that we need to speak to people's heads, right? We need to make the case out of the gate for what we're doing and how we're doing it and you know, why have we decided on these programs and all these things? We need to cite statistics and have data and oh, all the rest of it. The reality is people's heads hurt. I mean, think about it. You're sitting there. It's Tuesday or whatever day. You have how many other emails? You've done the commute to work. You've experienced all the different things. Your head hurts. Well, the people that you're trying to get to engage with your organization, who you want to interest and who, for the most part, want to participate, their heads hurt too. So then why, right, if there's all, why, why are we speaking to people's heads? Throughout the day, people are talking to your head all the time. But how often, how often are people speaking to your heart? Has anybody spoken to your heart today? We've established that people have fed your brain. But have they really spoken to your heart? And yet the work that nonprofits are doing is really fundamentally about the heart, right? It's about the why. So what I want is, you know, a transition. Should you have the data to support that your programming is good? Absolutely, yes. You want to be able to quantify what you're doing, but not out of the gate, right? Out of the gate, you really need to speak to people on an individual level, right? So what are the stories about why people engaged initially with your organization? Why do they stay engaged? So um, about a decade ago, I, I ran a marathon. I did 26.2 miles, the full thing. And I did it with the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society team in training. So I ran a marathon because my mom at the time had uh, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. She's a survivor. I, I realized that I need to tell people that now. She's, she's now fine, but at the time she had cancer. And anyone who has supported someone with cancer will know that you feel so helpless and you, want it, you will do anything to help them. Now my mom's not a complainer, you know, she just didn't complain, all the chemo, all the rest of it. And one day I rung her and I said, how are you feeling? And she said, my legs hurt. I, you know, I, I remember this whole conversation. I remember where I was standing. I remember her saying it because I almost dropped the phone because she just doesn't complain. And I thought, wow, what can I do? I can't, you know, I can't do anything, but I could run. I could run. And there was something about that that felt so personal and I knew that I could raise money for the Leukemia Lymphoma Society, and that was something. Now, I, we raised a whole bunch of money for them. We sure did. And I ran the 26.2 miles. I couldn't tell you at the time, and I can't tell you now, all the statistics about how much money they raised, how much of it goes to research, the cures that they found. That's not the people connection. It's not my connection to the organization. So, what I want you to do is try to do the shift from the head to the heart. Go around in your organization and ask five people, why was it that they came to work for the organization? What stories do they have about the work that you're doing? And then take those stories and think about whether or not you can tell them to other people, which of those stories might resonate with different types of people who would engage and participate in the work of your organization. And then have in your back pocket for the people who really want the data and the statistics, have all that in your back pocket. But when you start the conversation, take it as an opportunity to feed their hearts rather than their heads. Just remember, their heads are going to explode, but their hearts are probably pretty hungry. So go talk to at least five people and see what you learn.